It's important to say about spectrum that the idea behind all the volumes, whether they've been of relatively easy or relatively difficult pieces, is that, that they are concert music. They are not studies and they are not music specifically written for children. They are, all of them, pieces designed to be included in recital programmes, but still technically accessible to people who are um, still fairly undeveloped technically. I think if I, if I as a performer do a bad performance of a Beethoven sonata, uh, the audience will go away thinking, Thalia Myers is a rotten performer, um, but that Beethoven sonata is, is still a wonderful piece of music. Whereas on the other hand, if I do a bad performance of a work that is brand new and still drying on the page, the audience is likely to go away thinking, well, Thalia Myers isn't much of a performer, but that really is an awful piece of music. So one's responsibility, I think, in a way, is much greater if one is, as a performer if one is playing new music. I also think that um, young people and inexperienced performers playing new music um, have a sense of, of liberation over playing that, uh, that they might not feel over performing something that has been um, a, famous piece, a famous piece of music that has been um, recorded and performed thousands and thousands of times by very, very well-known players. So it can be quite a boost to the confidence to play unfamiliar music. I love performing and I love, I love teaching. And I actually find that the process of clarifying my processes and articulating uh, how I work in a way that um, helps my students is actually very, very helpful to me um, because it where it really makes me focus on exactly what I'm doing. Sometimes, um, slightly surprisingly so, um, <laughs> so it, it can have a very, very salutary effect on the effectiveness of my own practicing. I don't actually think there's anything in the least bit different about teaching uh, contemporary music to any other music. Um, I mean, what fires people's enthusiasm for learning music at all or teaching it for that matter, is um, hearing something that is wonderful and then wanting to do it yourself. And so it's a matter of having enough time um, and enough curiosity to listen and to explore and, and pursue. I think one of the things that, that alienates people from contemporary music sometimes is the absence of lyricism or the absence of a singing line. And I think if you approach a, a, an unfamiliar piece or one that seems dauntingly, dauntingly strange and you say, where can I find, where can I, how can I make this sing? Very often you find that you've been taken into, into something beautiful that you weren't expecting. Mm. I think just as pianists need to listen to good singers to develop a lovely sound um, as a basic of their, of their training, I think thinking vocally when you approach contemporary music for piano can be a big help.